Deanna here from Futures Past Boutique, and tonight I'd like to tell you about the find of the century. So like um, earlier in my last video, I explained to you about sleepers. And um, there are some like antiques called sleepers. Um, I don't know if I coined the term or if other people coined it too, but um, a sleeper is basically um, when you get something that um, is really like inexpensive, <clears throat> you know, like the price tag is in inexpensive and it's a score, like a score where it's worth a lot of money. So like one day, um, I was in an antique shop and I saw this beautiful like hand-blown um, glass box. It was almost like a sugar box and it was really big and heavy. And at first I just thought it was cheap Vaseline glass. It had all hand enameling on it and uh, it was like all hand painted. It had a lock in the front. It had a ornate metal uh, wrought iron or bronze uh, legs on it that were like all scrolled and ornate. And I said, how much is that? And the lady's like, um, oh, I just got that from an estate sale. Um, uh, it has about 50 bucks. And I was like, sure. And I really knew nothing about it. So I, I bought it. And as soon as I got home, I did some research. And it turned out <clears throat> it was a rare Moser glass, um, bohemian glass box. And it was worth big bucks. And I was like, oh my God, I got like a major score. I was like like totally totally like stoked about it I was like oh my god I can't believe I just got so lucky and um, I saw a similar one selling for two thousand and twenty five hundred dollars on the internet I was like wow you know that's gonna really uh, pay the bills this month so I, I put it in my Etsy store and I said you know what I'm not gonna be greedy so I put a price tag of 1850 on it so um, I didn't think anyone was going to buy it. And to be quite honest with you, I loved it so much that I didn't want to sell it. I was like, I don't want to sell this piece, but you know what? I really need the money and I have no choice. So I put it on and some guy started asking me questions. He was asking me the dimensions, the size, and all of a sudden out of the blue, he said, um, I need to know because I want to place my wife's ashes in that box. Um, and I was like, oh my God, like that made me feel so bad. Um, he was a guy in his like early 50s and he had a beautiful wife. He showed me pictures of her and sadly she died of cancer. And she was, oh my God, she was absolutely beautiful, beautiful. She looked actually like the actress Goldie Hawn. And she looked like so filled with life and such a nice, beautiful human being. And I felt so honored to know that he was going to place her ashes in that box as a memorial to her and um yeah so he bought her for 1850 and as soon as he received it i shipped it all the way to texas now i'm on long island i was so terrified that that glass box was going to arrive broken i packed it with so many layers of bubble wrap this poor guy must have been cursing me out when he got the box because he probably realized Oh my god it's gonna take me 40 minutes to unwrap this and um, shortly after he received it he thanked me from the bottom of his heart and he sent me a picture of um, it on his um, like he had a like a little altar dedicated to her and um, he had her pictures surrounding it he you know he he just like really set this up so beautifully and it turns out that um, we kept in touch. Um, he uh, he sent me more photos of her, and you know he uh, says hi to me every so often through Facebook, and he tells me about his lovely wife and how much he misses her, and it absolutely broke my heart. Broke my heart that this gentleman like lost his, the love of his life at so you know such a young age, and um, that was the first antique that I ever sold that touched my heart completely and utterly touched my heart that I can't believe that an item that I sold somebody placed their loved one's ashes in it and is using it as something that they're going to keep for the rest of their lives and cherish um so yeah so that's like one of my stories that I thought I'd share with you guys so um I have many more so tune in and uh thank you for watching my videos if uh you know you can hit subscribe or a thumbs up let me know you know that I'm okay I'm doing good here so uh, thanks a lot for listening and have a great evening.